the status. I had the verification before the check, to be honest. Uh, you know, right now I'm just growing the game. You know, I'm selling hope, you know, and giving youth the opportunity to excel in a different type of sport, learn. You know, you don't have to play the sport. You can learn. You can ref. You can sell merchandise to the sport, you know. It's all type of avenues you can go about with it. It's not about just playing the game. I'm just trying to grow it and just give people a new way or just expand people's mind on some different things, you know. I would say my drive right now is just completing the mission, you know, uh, finishing my goals and just knowing what's at stake, how many people are looking up to me, how many people are counting on me. And I don't want to let myself down, you know. That's what it all comes down to. Rugby League has definitely changed my life. It gave me the opportunity to travel the world, which American football was already doing that. But rugby league was more of a family thing. Um, I still talk to everybody that I became friends with in 2016, 2017. Uh, all my teammates, like it's, it's, it's a lovely thing, you know. So it's, it's a gentleman's game. Definitely a brutal sport. Definitely got some fractured bones and you know things around. But you know, it's just uh, it just comes with the territory. It's a part of the game, and I love it. Of course, we're in the talks of doing a lot of things. You know, we're gonna keep that behind closed doors. But right now, we are our own entity, and we just riding our own wave right now. So. <clears throat> We do appreciate the love and the support that we get from all over the world. Uh, our city is definitely still learning and still trying to, you know, get on that. But it's going to happen soon because of the support from definitely Australia and United Kingdom. They're growing, a, they're gaining the awareness without them even knowing. You know, I'm, I'm reposting everything they're doing, so it's just all love and everything. Organization, you know, and the executive staff that's with me. Our goal is to become, you know, on the highest level. Of course, with the Cleveland Browns, Cleveland Cavaliers, Cleveland Indians. You know, we're going to be we're going to be one of the top tier teams here in this city, in the state, and of course in the whole rugby league. So that's our goals. You know, we're going to continue to grow the game. We have, uh, of course, we're going to have in the future with some youth opportunities and also a women's team also. So we're still in the works of all that. You know, you can check out our Instagram at Cleveland Rugby League, and you can also check out our Twitter, Cle Rugby League, C L E Rugby League. Uh, check us out on YouTube. And just stay tuned, you know, we got a lot in store, jerseys, official site drop, uh, drops December 1st, pre-orders December 1st to December 8th, you know, stay tuned for that, show some love, support, and uh, that's what I'm doing, I'm supporting this Australia gear, soon I want to see some Cleveland gear on some of you people, let's get it. Yee <laughs> Well, I got introduced to Rugby League in what, 2016, I believe, I got released from the Iowa Barnstormers, got cut. Arena Football League. Um, I got cut, came back home, started doing personal training, doing boot camps and everything. Uh, that's when I got the call from Adam Fogarty. Just gave me the call, said he seen my story on social media. Uh, how would I like the opportunity to convert from an American football player to a rugby league player, you know, and try to earn a professional contract. And the rest is history, you know. Everybody knows my story about that, but. That's when I first got the, the rugby league jitterbug, is what they call it. Like, I don't know, I just fell in love with the game. It was still football. I was still trying to, you know, work on my NFL dreams, and I felt like playing rugby league was the closest thing to football. You know, well, it is football at the end of the day. To be honest, I think rugby league needs me. Um, I've been here in so many years that I'm just like a, a fresh breath of air to new fans and to the old fans, you know, the supporters of rugby league. And I'm still hearing it to this day. It definitely goes hand in hand. You know, rugby league has definitely changed my life, and I definitely maybe changed some perspectives on some of the fans about, you know, players, the different cultures, uh, North American rugby league, and players. So I'm just here to open the eyes out. I'm definitely here to talk my shit. You know, I definitely talk shit. That's what most rugby league uh, players and fans and supporters don't know that about me. You know, I come from American football. You know, we talk our mess on the field because, you know, we have those times, the, the breaks in between to do that. You know, in rugby league, I still can say say what I want to say, but it's not as intense as I do in American football. But, you know, you catch me on social media, I say my slick stuff, but I'm always going to back it up, you know, with whatever it is. I can definitely say that the, the break has definitely uh, helped me out. Uh, this was my opportunity to show supporters, fans, whoever, just that, you know, the saying that I'm more than an athlete is playing in effect right now. You know, I'm showing the people that I can grow the game, I can help be a part of it. Uh, I'm what rugby league needs, you know. Um, the game is still going to go on without me, but I'm definitely, definitely bring something different to the table, you know. I definitely believe Cleveland and Rugby League go hand in hand, you know. Uh, fast pace, the grit, working class, shysty, but we love a party, the social life, you know. It's a gritty place, gritty sport. I believe they go hand in hand.
band together. It's definitely another outlet for the children to succeed, you know, make it a, another way out. Of course, sports is not the number one, but it's also an option. Yes, I do still have aspirations of making it pro and rugby league. Of course, I'm working hard as hell, you know, to make it to that top, you know, to the highest level. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to play with the highest level, with the elite athletes, and just prove to myself and to other people that I can help win and be a part of a winning organization and also, you know, win a championship, win a few grand finals. That's the goal, you know. I knew my chances were slim, you know, to none, as in to making it into a, a pro pro team right now, you know, due to COVID and everything else that's going on. So this was the perfect opportunity to show the world that, you know, I'm more than an athlete. I have a platform for, of course, working out, uh, the NFL stuff and all that, but I'm also a businessman, you know. I'm showing people that I can grow the game, uh, bring it to a, a community, uh, actually bring it to a community, a low-income community at that, you know, and try to uh, help the kids in the trenches. It's all about motivating the trenches. You know, we call the trenches, that's the, uh, you know, the poverty area of our city. Uh, and the youth, they have limited opportunities, and I just want to give them another opportunity and another option of way to make it out of Cleveland, Ohio, just, just to be successful, you know. I think it helped me, uh, so I believe that it can help other people also.